Here's another one involving exponents and a fraction. And I'm going to show you how you can do this in one step. You can go straight from the given problem here, straight to the answer. And this is what you do. Um, just look at one piece at a time. I see some numbers. I see some M's on the top and the bottom. I see some N's right there. And I see some P's. And I'll just do them in order. I'll, 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 I'll just follow this order. I'll do the, the numbers first, the 8 and the 12, and then the M's, and then the P's, and then the N's. Just work them out separately. Okay, first let's think about the 8 over 12. That can reduce... If I divide each of those by 4, I get a 2 up top and a 3 down below. So my answer is going to have a 2 up top and a 3 on the bottom. Now let's look at the m's. I have an m to the power of 5 here and an m to the power of 3 down there. So I need to subtract. I need to do the top minus the bottom. 5 minus 3. That gives me an m to the power of 2. So I'll put that up here. M to the power of 2. So now the M's are taken care of. Let's look at the N's. I have an N to the negative 3 and an N to the positive 1. What I'm going to do in my mind, I'm going to take this N to the negative 3, put it down on the bottom, in which case it will become an N to the positive 3. So I have an N to the negative 1 in the bottom and an n to the positive 3 in the bottom. So there's two n base n exponents multiplied together into the negative 1 and into the positive 3. And when I multiply those two together, I add the exponents. And negative 1 and positive 3 add up to a positive 2. So I have an n to the power of 2 in the denominator. So now the m's and the n's are taken care of, as well as the numbers. So now I just need to look at the p's. There's a p squared and a p to the negative 2. What I'll do is imagine this p to the negative 2 going up to the top. And when that happens, the negative 2 becomes a positive 2. And that's why I did there. I can scoot it up there to make that exponent positive. And I'm not going to write that down. I'm just doing this in my mind. And I'm imagining this p to the negative 2 being right up here in the numerator and being a p to the positive 2 instead. And so when this p to the positive 2 that I'm getting from putting that up there is multiplied by that p to the power of 2, it becomes a p to the fourth. And so I'll write that in here, p to the fourth. And I'm done. 2m squared p to the fourth over 3n squared. That's my answer.